Jen and DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a legs and abs resistance band workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing nine exercises in total, and we're going to do them one at a time. We're going to do four sets of each exercise. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and then in between the different exercises, we'll then take a 40 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to get your free workout routine at AchievePeak.com. Now let's get to work. All right, we've got about 30 seconds. Until we get started, if you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now our first exercise we're going into is sumo squats. So let's grab our bands. <clears throat> we're going to put our bands down on the ground. We're going to get a nice wide stance here. Toes pointed at like an 11 and 1 or 10 and 2 position. We're going to grab the bands with both hands. And then from here we're going to have our weight and our heels. We're going to drop down, keeping that back nice and straight, and then come back up. Here we go. So chest out, head up. Try to work on going a little deeper each time until your legs get to parallel with the ground. There we go. Good controlled movements. Keep that head up. If you start to look down, then it's going to want to pull you forward and bend your back. There we go. Let's get one more. There we go. So that one is done. I think I might go up again. I'm going to add this, your 50, to my 50 and 60. So that's like 160 pounds. There we nice. go. There we go, stepping it up a little bit. Let's go. There we go, back into it. There we go. Remember, chest out, head up, weight in your heels, keeping that back nice and straight. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Two more. Here we go. We'll see if I uh, regret that decision come uh, split squats and side. I know, lunges, it is huh? the first workout. <laughs> we got to set the tone real quick in the beginning right? here. Here we go. Third set here, sumo squats. Here we go. Let's go. Push with the legs. Come on. Oh. Let them legs catch fire. Brace the burn. Come on. Oh yeah. Starting to feel it. Come on. Ah, 10 seconds. Let's get two more. One. Last one. There we go. Woo! Yep. We'll go final set here. Sumo squats almost done. Then we get a nice little 40 second break. Let's go. Let's push it. Keep pushing. Come on. Burning the legs up. Better be using heavy weight today. Going up. Pushing ourselves. Prove what we're made of here. Come on. Let's get three more. Come on. Keep pushing. Last one. Here we go. All right, 40 second break. And then we're going into RDLs or Romanian deadlifts. So for these, we're going to grab our bands, step on them with both feet, have a slight bend in the knees. We're gonna bend at the hips, keeping that back nice and straight, and then come back. If it's a little too tough for you to do both feet, then you can do kind of like a staggered, put one foot just a little bit back, and then do the same movement. Still bending at the hips, keeping the back straight. Like that, you're just working one leg at a time at that point, so you switch every set. There we go. <laughs> I'm the same thing. First, first rep, yeah. choke way up. Yeah, you gotta get a feel for it. See where we're at. You can sink your butt back when you're doing these. 
You should be feeling it in the hamstrings, which runs on the back of your leg from the knee all the way up to the glute. Lifting yourself with the hamstrings. Last one. There we go. So one is done. Here comes the sweat already. I feel it. Here we go five seconds till we get into set two here. Let's go. Remember to keep that back straight, chest out, head up. Again, if you can only do one leg at a time, maybe it's easier on your lower back. You need a little bit of a staggered stance here. Come down. Still gonna have a little bit of a bend in that front leg. So what you could do is if you're standing here, so you could just straighten it all the way and then slightly bend it, and that's where you want to be at. Here we go. I have to go up. There you go. Stepping it up. That's what we like to see. Here we go five seconds till set three RDLs. Let's go. Here we go. Chest out, head up. Exhaling as you come up. Focus on those hamstrings. Feel them stretch out as you're bending over. Use them to pull your back straight up. Come on. Let's go. Keep going. Let's get one more. There we go. Step four, feeling good? Is it time to go up again? <sighs> I see you eyeballing that purple one. Five. Oh, oh, the five, just kidding. No. It's the yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> Only because he called me out. Here we go. Here you go. Come on. Keep that back nice and straight. Feel in the hamstrings, push that butt back. We're bending at the hips, not at the lower back. Come on. Stretch them out. Come up. Stretch it out. Come on. One more. There we go. All right, 40 seconds. And then Jim is going to be doing Bulgarian split squats with a bench. I'm going to be doing static lunges. So I can just leave that on the ground. So if you have something that you can put a foot up on, you can certainly do uh, Jen's exercise, which is probably what I would yeah, recommend. How heavy I could go. We'll see. Yeah, so good. we're going to get a nice split stance here, band on that front foot, and then we're just going to lunge right here in place. We're not bringing that back foot up at all. Here we go. Turn to the side. There we go. Come down, all the way up. Come down, all the way up. There we go. Now make adjustments as needed. There we go. Let's go. Push it out. One more. There you go. Can you strike a line? Yeah. In the carpet. There we go. There you go. Going to set two, we're switching legs this time. So each time we'll switch legs. So the two at the left, two at the right. Here we go. Let's get ready. Second set. There we go. Drop down. Make sure to choke up on your bands when you're doing this too. If you want to work more butt, you can try to push back. More quad, you can try to just stand straight up with it. Let's go. Ten seconds. Keep pushing. Let's go. Let's get one more. Come on. Woo! Here we go. Feeling good, huh? That was foot squats. That's tough. <laughs> That's good stuff, though. Here we go. About it. Yep. 
Set three right here. Going back to our original leg. Drop down. Come up. Down. Come up. It's like a tap and go. Lightly tap your knee onto the ground. Pop right back up. Keep that back nice and straight. We don't want to be leaning forward. Let's go. One more. There we go. Woo! Feeling better now, huh? Shake them out. And all those titles back there in those books. <laughs> Focusing so hard. <laughs> That's too funny. Here we go. Boy, set. Let's go. Drop down. Come up. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. There we go. Let's go. Keep pushing. We got a couple reps left. Let's get one more. There's a growing wrap right there. Oh. Woo! There we go. All right, we got a 40 second break. Then we're going into glute kickbacks. Standing glute kickbacks, that is. So, what we're gonna do for these, we're gonna grab our band and just loop it like this. Put it down on the ground and then I step on it, the uh, carabiner side, take this loop, put my other foot through it. From here, it's, that band's gonna be on the back of your ankle. We're gonna kick back just like that. There we go. Here we go. Kick back. If you want, you can hold a wall like I'm doing. I don't have the balance like Jen. Let's go. Squeeze. When you're doing this, trying to lean too far forward because that's not going to work our glutes. We're trying to push the leg back, utilizing the glutes here. There we go. Squeeze. One more. Squeeze. There we go. We're going to switch sides here. So again, have it like this. Step on the carabiner side, loop the other side around your foot, back of the ankle. There we go. There we go. Kicking back, not leaning forward. You're going to have a slight lean forward, but we're just not going to keep moving like that. Squeeze. Why do you always hurt so bad? Come on. Let's go. Let's get one more. Woo! There we go. Set three. Glute kickbacks. Let's go. It's booty building time. Come on. Men, don't even think that you can skip this. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. Let's get two more. One. Two. Those things burn. <laughs> Gross. Stop it. It's tough. Who's over here licking his paws? Hey, quit it. All right, four set here. Step on the band. Put your foot through. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Squeeze the glue. Ah, let's go. Come on. Ah, let's go. Let's go. 
One more. <sighs> Woo! This is like my least favorite thing. I don't, I don't like that. It burns. Such oh, an yeah. easy, easy looking thing. All right, we got a 40 second break, and then we're going into hip abductions. So here we're gonna do the same thing with uh, standing on the band, looping it around, except this time we're gonna go out to the side, like that, with each leg, instead of kicking back. So step on the band, again, loop it through, band around the ankle, choke up on it as near, and then from here, we're going out to the side. Oh my God, that's gonna be brutal. Here we go, a couple seconds till we get started. Coming out to the side. Let's go. So if you put your hand on your hip, you should feel it right where your thumb is. If you kind of press down with your thumb, that's where you should feel it right now. You want to make sure that you're not rotating the hips open and kicking it. We want the leg going out to the side, the hip staying forward. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Switching sides here. It's a pretty small muscle we're working here, the glute meads, but it is absolutely necessary. Especially if you sit in a chair all day, this is a great exercise for you to keep those glute meads nice and strong. Come on, kick it out there, squeeze. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's get two more. Last one. Last one. Woo! There we go. Start to feel your legs being all wobbly. Yeah. Because those are those are stabilizer muscles. So I did them after the bulk of our squats. Here we go. A couple seconds. Here we go. Out to the side, keeping the hips forward. There we go. Oh. Burn so good. Let's go. Keep going. Let's get two more. One, last one, two. Oh God! <laughs> Probably need those to work those a lot more. Whew. My hips feel like Jello right now. I don't know about you. They do. It's shocking, honestly. Especially because it's such a, a light resistance that you're using. Uh huh. Here we go. Come out, oh geez. Uh, let's go. Come on, squeeze, squeeze. Uh, uh, push yourself. Uh, uh, keep pushing. Uh, uh, last one. Uh, 40 second break. We're going into calf raises or power hops. <laughs> oh my jeez. That's such a tough little exercise. Oh, my legs feel like pure jello. Just from that, my hips have like, my knees are like <laughs> trembling. Yeah. All right. So for calf raises, we got a few options. You're gonna do a double leg calf raise, a single leg calf raise, or you can do kind of like a power hop, which is what really trying to hop, but we're not trying to use quads so much. So we're trying to use those, the calves, and then you're gonna explode up, really try to point your toe, if you're doing those. So I'm gonna do the hops. <sighs> trying to explode as best as possible here, using only the calves. <sighs> here we go. Explode, point those toes down. Explode, point the toes down. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> If you want, you can even do one-legged power hops, just like that. Okay, one more. There we go. I think I'm gonna do 
one-legged power hops. Try to work on my vertical leap a little bit. Your calves are not very strong, apparently. I feel that already. <laughs> Here we go. Remember, you get doubles, single hops, or single leg hops if you want. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to do two of each side. Try to explode through the calves fully, extending that foot down. Let's go. Here we go. Woo! Feeling good. Feeling those calves. Keep this up. We're gonna be dunking in a few weeks. Uh -huh. Jump. Your vertical. Oh, I don't really care about basketball. More volleyball, but whatever. Here we go. Set three. Come on. Let's go. Try not to use your arms when you do this. We don't want to explode with the arms. You can even put your hands on your hips like Jen's doing. That way you know you're trying to use just calves. One more. Here we go. Set four here. I'm gonna try to jump the last one, but. Yeah, there you go. I'm not trying to compete with your height. <laughs> here we go. No arms, right? Yeah, you can put them on your side too if you want. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Explode. Explode. Don't forget to breathe. Use the calves. Fully extend the toes. Come on. Let's go. We got one more. Woo! My calves are tired. All right, 40 second break, and then we're going into bicycle crunches. So now we're on to the abs portion of this workout. So we drop down on the ground. Here we go. Probably get this way too. So for me, we're gonna lie on our back, hands behind the head, or at least next to the head, and then we're gonna use the core to pull the elbow to the opposite knee, and then we're gonna alternate. We're not just trying to rotate the arms, we wanna rotate the core. So that way, we're squeezing the abs, and get an ab workout in. Don't forget to breathe. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Squeeze, squeeze. Use the core to pull your upper body to the side. We're not just moving the arms back and forth like this. We want good controlled motions. We want to really feel it in the core. Here we go, set one is done. Going to set two. Make sure that you're not straining your neck either because you're pulling with your hands. If that's the case, just bring your hands to the side of your head. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze. Oh. Woo! Brace that burn. Come on. Building the mass today. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Woo! You feeling it? Yep. Slow and controlled. I felt it about uh, 12 seconds left. <laughs> My abs caught fire. Here we go, about five seconds left on this break till we get started. Two, one. Ah, squeeze, squeeze. Let's go. If you need to take a break, that's fine. Take a couple seconds, try to get back into it. 
Don't forget to breathe. Squeeze the abs. One more. Woo! All right. They are lit up now. This four set's about to be real fun. <laughs> By real fun, I mean real painful. Why good painful. Counting? Huh? When you start counting, that's how I forget about it. You focus on counting. Counting? Oh, that sounds horrible. Count each one, and that way you're not thinking about it. Uh, okay, you count for us. Or you can count down. I'm gonna bask in the burn. <laughs> Soak all this up. Come on. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, let's go. Uh, come on. Uh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh. One more. Oh, no. Woo! I already stopped. Uh, uh, cheater. Uh. All right. We have a 40 second break. Uh, if you want to, you can stay down on the ground. We're going to go into a reverse crunch with hip thrust. So now we're going to really try to target the lower abs here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lie flat on the ground. We're going to bring our legs up and then we're going to try to get a little hip thrust using the lower abs here. So if you want, you can put your hands down by your sides. You don't have to be up by your head this time. There we go. Yeah, we're under your butt. Come up. And then hip thrust. Come back down. If this is a little too tough, then what you can do is start with your knees bent like this. And then come up. And then, again, get the hip thrust. Bring them back down. Like that. There we go. Let's go. One more. There we go. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Ah, mine are on fire. They never quit, quit being on fire. Here we go. Let's get ready. Remember, good controlled movements here. We're not trying to hurry up and pull the legs in and go like that. We want slow, controlled movements, making sure that we're using those lower abs to perform the movement. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Woo! Set three. Cruising right along here. Hopefully you've embraced the burn. Let's go. Oh, we got a couple seconds left. Here we go. Come up. Squeeze. Exhale as you're doing that hip thrust. It's going to help you maximize the contraction of the abs. Come on. Let's go. Couple more. Let's go. Last one. Ah. Woo. Those are burning. I'm still sliding my butt off from these too. I don't know about you. It looks like you're over there having a breeze. I'm over here dying. I'm sweating. <laughs> I can't talk to you right now. <laughs> here we go. Set four. Curl hip thrust. Let's go. Bring the legs up, hip thrust. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Let's go. Keep pushing. Come on. Let's go. A couple left. Let's get one more. Ah, there we go. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into reverse wood chops. Come on, mama. Let's go with your neon green nails. 
<laughs> hey, your nails match the dumbbells over there. Uh. All right, we're just going to chop once I wipe all this sweat off. So we're going to grab our band, put it under one foot, I'm going to put mine under my right. And then what we're going to do is if it's under your right foot, you're turning to the opposite side. So I'm going out to the left, coming back. When we're doing this, we're trying not to rotate the hips and pivot. We're trying to use the core to turn us. Here we go. So off to the side. Come back. Good control movements. Control it up. Control it down. Here we go. Here we go. Using the core. Try to keep those hips straight. Let's get one more. Here we go. So we're just switching sides here. Here we go. Let's get ready. Going to the opposite side. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Trying not to turn the hips. Let's go. Here we go. Keep pushing. Let's get a couple more. Last one. Here we go. Switching back to our original side. Here we go. We're almost done. Choke up on the bands if needed. I'm choking up on mine a little. Going to the opposite or the original side that you started with here. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Come on. One more. Hey, boy, come to watch us. Just barely get on camera. Come on. Come here. Come here. Sit. Not, not. Yep. <laughs> You're gonna sure. do that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sure. Stay there. You get smacked in the head, Bruce. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, I come over there too. Here we go. Choke up as needed. Let's go. Keep pushing. 15 seconds left. Here we go. Come on. Last one. Woo! Here we go. We are done. That was a good workout, huh? Yeah, that was good. Good job. Legs and abs are finished. Good job. Good stuff, mama. Way to push it. All right, if you like this workout, Smash that like button. Boom! If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to get your free workout routine at AchievePeak.com. See you guys.